sometimes when you do stuff on your own, you got to do it a couple times. And I guess that's the learning curve. We're going to take the 347 apart again today. Uh, I got to take the heads off because I failed to check my piston to valve clearance. So an expensive lesson because I'm going to go through a couple hundred bucks worth of head gaskets, unfortunately, to make sure that I did this right. So we're going to tear her all apart again today and then check the piston to valve clearance and put it all back together and then hopefully button it up for good. Today we installed the bundle of snakes on the 347 stroker motor. These came from GP headers over in Minnesota. They're absolutely gorgeous. The welds are perfect. Um, it's incredible how nice they turned out. So these are all installed individually and actually cross over to the collectors. So there's two from your left hand side and two from your right hand side that actually flip flop and come into the collectors um, on opposite sides. So you can see here that this guy is coming across into here. Anyway, there's your bundle of snakes on the stroker for the GT40 project. Hopefully we can mate up the transaxle soon and get all of this going. Tonight we've been messing around with the oil pan. This is an oil pan from our Mondos down in Texas. It comes with an oil pickup and the oil pickup on this particular pan has a very short arm on it. Typically you're going off of this crank bolt. You've got that studded crank bolt head. Well, what I had to do is swap those because of the shorter arm here. Uh, so once I got it swapped, it fit fine, but now the oil uh, pump itself is actually hitting. You can see where the bolt was hitting right here. And I'm gonna have to trim this, and I think I'm gonna have to trim this ear off the pump in order to get it to fit right. I have the masking tape over the, the pickup tube itself because I was using Play-Doh to try and figure out what my tolerance is between the pickup and the pan. I think you're supposed to have around a half an inch. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think it's supposed to be more than a half an inch. I think you're supposed to be between like a quarter and a half. Uh, but anyway, we're still trying to mess around to get our Mondo's oil pan to fit. It's gonna take some fabrication. Always something. This is the 347 stroker that's going in the GT40. A buddy of mine named Dean uh, started this project with me probably a couple years ago. This was a 302 Ford block that came in a 1974 Bronco that I swapped to a 351. So I had this 302 Ford block sitting around and we decided we wanted to make it into a stroker. So we had a machine shop, clean it up, board it out to a 403 piston. Uh, so it's board 30 over. You've got now a stroker. We're hoping it's got just a pretty mild cam in it. We're hoping it pushes around 400 horsepower. It looks the part for the car. I just wanted a real nice streetable engine. So we're going to mate that to the G96. Porsche transaxle. That's actually gonna be mounted upside down. You're looking at the bottom of it right now, but that will be the top of it once we get it in the car. So once we get that all put together, that's what's going to be powering the GT40.